I, the boss told me he wanted me to document this because it's a very crucial moment in Project Zorgo history. He wants it documented for future generations to see this. Hey what's up guys, it's Premier back with another video and in today's video guys, I'll be showing you why Project Zorgo is Chad Wildclay. Now basically what's currently happening is Chad Wildclay is being seen wearing a Project Zorgo mask. Uh, it's, it's crazy, we can see his green eyes, his blonde hair and his red shirt. Now I don't know about you guys, but this Project Zorgo member Looks a lot like Chad Wildclay. One eternity later. But before we get into any of that, if you guys would like a chance of getting some free Fortnite V-Bucks or some free Roblox Robux, make sure to go subscribe to the channel, click the bell, like this video, comment on this video, and watch this entire video without skipping. What's currently happening is Chad Wildclay is seen in several, several videos wearing a Project Sorgo mask, uh, acting like Project Sorgo, and it's kind of crazy. I, I think Chad Walkley is Project Sorgo. He's clearly seen through the mask. He has green eyes, he has blonde hair, he has his CWC shirt. I mean, it's clearly Chad Walkley in a Project Sorgo suit. I, I don't know, guys. Here's a clip. Have you been recording this entire conversation, GZ16, at the camera? Uh, um... What are you doing with the camera? Well, this, I, the boss told me he wanted me to document this because it's a very crucial moment in Project Zorgo history. He wants it documented for future generations to see this. Uh, you didn't know that I was undercover for Project Zorgo? No. For failing the test, you must now reveal your identity. Take your mask off. A true Project Zergo member never reveals their identity. As you guys saw, I mean, I know it's Chad Walkley in a Project Zorgo suit, but is he going undercover or, or is he Project Zorgo? Comment what you think. A few moments later. I love you guys so much. You guys mean the world to me. Hashtag Team Premier. Let's do this, guys. Let's stop Project Zorgo. Whoever it is, Chad Walkley or not, let's do this. Subscribe and click the bell. Watch the rest of this video without skipping. We need to get down on this. Spy Ninjas, I need your help. Please. I I I'm out. Welcome back to another Project Zorgo weekly update. Did Project Zorgo successfully take over VidCom? We'll find out. But first, let's take a vote. Give this video a thumbs up if you want Chad and V to win, and a thumbs down if you want Project Zorgo to win. Now team, there's a lot going on and a lot of channels to keep up with. So we try to make it easy for you by summarizing here every week. So one way that you can keep up with what's going on is to subscribe and hit the bell. Last week, we reported that Daniel had been captured by Project Zorgo and they were going to punish him in an exit ceremony. The exit ceremony actually involves Chad and Regina in doing challenges. For every challenge that they fail, 
Daniel would be punished. Now, you'll notice that V was not in any of the challenges because she has snuck off to go rescue Daniel. So what kind of challenges is PZ9 making them do? Well, first of all, he made them do the fruit basket challenge, twin telepathy, the floor is lava, and even a Fortnite dance challenge. Now, of course, Chad and Regina are not going to let Daniel get punished, so they're trying to be sneaky so that they can go off to help him. They used a VID to make it look like they were in the video the entire time, but they were actually sneaking off to help V rescue Daniel. PZ9 is watching because you guys remember the flowers and bear that he gave them to give to Regina and V well they were actually hidden cameras and throughout this whole time he was watching um, Regina and Chad through the teddy bear and the flowers so he said that they have failed and Daniel is going to be punished check out his punishment eating dog food this is disgusting He even uses an electrical nerve stimulation to make Daniel look like he peed on himself when really PZ9 is the project or remember that pees on himself. Come on, let's be real here. PZ9 even makes Daniel use slime as hair gel. That is disgusting. Poor Daniel, he actually does have nice hair. I hope he gets that out. So remember V was off to rescue Daniel. She's actually hiding in one of the boxes in the exact room. And PZ9 was so angry. He thought someone was in the room and he was punching all the boxes and V almost got hurt. Luckily she was small enough where she was able to lay flat. So PZ9 was not able to hurt her too badly. And Daniel was able to pull her out when PZ9 decided it was time to head over to VidCom. All right guys, so let's see what's going on with VidCom because you guys saw that Tragic Circle may have taken over they have the Tesla, they have the signal booster, and they have PZ9. Okay guys, today is the big day. Today is the day we hack VidCon. We have everything we need. The Tesla, the signal booster, and most importantly, PZ9. Give it up for PZ9. Oh no! You, guard the Tesla. Let's head inside. Let's do this thing. So it looks like they have taken over VidCom, but hang on, Regina heard something. The buttons will stop everything. Okay, buttons. Everybody got your buttons. Buttons? We probably shouldn't have all these buttons in the same place, so, uh, what do you think? Split up. Yeah, you guys go that way, you guys go that way. Gosh. Good luck today, everybody. We can do this. Gosh, it's so close. Okay, new mission. Save VidCon by finding all four buttons and disabling them. But the spy ninjas must hurry because Project Zorgo has been redacting a lot of their videos. So you'll notice that there are some important things that we cannot see or hear. And I think that they're doing this on purpose so that we cannot help the spy ninjas. And they're even sending their members horrible messages about the spy ninjas and their friends like Joseph Banks. Team, we need your help because it seems like Project Zorgo has successfully taken control of VidCom. When we watch V's video, this is what came up. This video is unavailable. And there were some parts that did come through, but a lot of redacted parts again by Project Zorgo. And Project Zorgo is using V's video to send messages to its members. We gotta watch out because we need to figure out what is going on, like what is in these floppy disks. There are codes embedded throughout the video. We went ahead and snapshot a lot of what we caught on the video. We may have missed some because Project Zergo is tricky like that. So if you catch any, make sure you guys comment down below what we missed and go on to the um, targeted channels videos and comment th on their videos as well to help them out. I think that this code may be what is needed to figure out what is in that safe that the Project Zergo members are talking about when they said they forgot the code. Luckily, it seems that the spy ninjas have all found a button and they all pressed it and they have bought themselves one hour, guys. One hour where Project Zero's mission has been delayed. So we need to head over to their channel and help them out. 
All right, team, let's figure out what the code is and what that secret message says. Okay, we'll see you here next week.